Good morning everybody, it's Painter Code as always with another speed paint video. Of course, it is not the end of my Draw This In Your Style Classic Edition series, because yeah, I like to do some more works in that kind of um, challenge, but as uh, my husband right now on fishing in Astrakhan, I have um, so much of free time and so much of free space for my art so yeah I can do something really cool today I hope that this will be cool because I didn't even start it um, because I want to keep um, you know like freshness of my emotions <laughs> so I really want to know how this all things will go okay so I need to <laughs> Uh, explain a little bit. Uh, in my childhood I like to paint everything. My fridge, I don't know, my notebooks, sketchbooks, everything. Um, but then when I grow older I always find some uh, pieces of wood, I don't know, something like this and this and then paint it over. If I find some uh, pictures of my artworks, I put them somewhere here uh, because, yeah, I live not in my um, actual apartment in Rostov, I live in another city, so I can't just take a photo of my artworks. So, yeah, for today I have this little piece of bamboo. Focus on me, please. Thank you! <laughs> so yeah, for today I have this little piece of bubble. It is um, a part of chopping board. Yeah. It's split up, so uh, this is still a chopping board. So, and this is my canvas for today. And before I get started, I need to prime this piece of wood. Yeah, because... Uh, the paint is liquid and you know that if you are not prime your canvas your colors will be a little more dull and I will prime this board with fair varnish so I hope I pronounce it correctly yeah this is how it looks focus on it please yeah it is from Russian brand called Nevskaya Palitra and uh, yeah, it is pure, uh, pure fear varnish. It's a little bit expensive for me, but what can I do? And you can use this thing like uh, in your actual art piece, so you don't, you know, like instead of uh, water in watercolors, you can use this in oils. Yeah, you understand me? hope so and uh, it have a really good smell <laughs> so I have uh, some kind of reference here on my phone maybe you can see it yeah it is a mix of uh, it is a mix of flowers you can see roses some succulents so I think this will be cool to draw that kind of pattern, just not like a regular art with uh, some uh, characters, just kind of pattern, because I like it, I, I like to draw this, but I haven't... <laughs> but most of time I'm too lazy to do that, so yeah. And uh, I saw so much artists draw something like that with a mix of succulents and some other flowers and it looks so good. So yeah, I want to kind of follow this trend. Mm, yeah, I have some choice between watercolors with white uh, gouache and um, oils, but I think that of course, I did some artworks with watercolors uh, even here on YouTube, so I need to do something uh, really new with my oils, because, yeah, they are missing me! 
Uh, so let's uh, start my first step with uh, priming my chopping board and <laughs> let's see how this all looks and how how much time it takes to be dry because yeah I know how how much time I need to uh, wait until actual wood will dry or actual canvas will dry but I don't know how much it takes for bamboo we'll see let's start guys and of course we are going to my favorite paint tool Sai could I said if this will be true but no today I have my traditional drawing so I need to prime my uh, canvas as I already mentioned and uh, I have my um, fear varnish and a big flat brush it's not actually so big but it's enough for me and I think that uh, two layers will be normal for me And uh, don't forget to wash your brush um, between layers because, yes, uh, every layer you have to wait until it dry. Uh, every layer takes me 10 minutes, so yeah, your brush can all also dry, so yeah, you can just lose your brush. When my cutting board uh, already dry, not actually dry, a little bit sticky, I try to have some sketch with pencil but it doesn't work maybe my pencil is too sharp I don't know but mm, yeah I tried uh, another one and it doesn't work so then I decided to go with colors of course I need to pick some colors using my reference and some other stuff like palette, brushes and yeah, this, some of these colors are from my art college it was um, five years ago or six oh my god, I'm so embarrassed and uh, yeah, my palette is a little bit dirty because I leave some colors on it and I need to clean it up as you can see, I have so much colors in my artist bag but I don't want to use all of them because this thing that I planned is really decorative. So this is all colors that I want to use in this artwork. This is my inspiration, this is my chopping board and it's a little bit sticky right now but I think it will work for me. So yeah, I'm already uh, a little bit uh, messy but what can I do? I just open my... <laughs> my uh, colors so uh, most of artists have some kind of system uh, for placing uh, colors it is much more comfortable for me to have warm colors here at the top and here at the right I uh, often I keep my cold colors uh, I mean blues, violets, greens Sometimes warm green is already here, like today, and of course black. Here um, I put brown colors, but today I think I don't need them from um, the tube. Maybe I'll mix something by myself. And the last thing that I need to do is put my liquid up here. So, instead of using pencil, I start my sketch with a mix of uh, 
varnish and uh, deep red color because this color is not so really visible when you're doing something uh, on the top of it when I just started drawing this thing I thought that this will be a really you know simple thing like flat really decorative but then I remember about Glenn Arthur or Arthur Glenn uh, Arthur Glenn I, I think I hope and uh, yeah he is really amazing artist if you saw his profile on Instagram he's so amazing he draw little birds girls heads and uh, really amazing flowers like succulents and other flowers name I, d I don't know actually name of this of those flowers in Russian <laughs> what can I what can I say about English names of those flowers yeah and uh, I was really inspired by him but I don't want to copy his style because his style is really hard for me and if I'll try to copy this video would be you know four hours long and and I'm talking about speed paint you know not like an actual video about really really uh, speed version of my process will be long Drawing flowers is a really good thing for every artist. I'm talking not about those who make some backgrounds or drawing trees and flowers and stuff like that. For everybody who actually draw. Uh, because, yeah, it is a lot of inspiration in these colors, in these shapes. And it's really difficult to make flower look like a flower. Because, yeah, maybe... Um, when you start it looks good and then you do something that uh, uh, looks mm, that ruins everything yeah and it's so easy to do when you're drawing um, some gentle flowers yeah when I was in my art college we have some practice um, not in our college um, far away from the city practice you know like all my group my teacher we are going to uh, to the riverside and uh, have some practice we draw um, trees and flowers and river and uh, some landscapes and it was really cool but the hardest thing was actually to draw a flower but uh, not in colors in uh, black and whites because uh, we use inks and for most of my group it was really hard experience but i really like inks and i i can work with it hours and hours long so it wasn't really hard for me but yeah it's really cool experience and uh, right now i think that i need more practice with flowers i need to go outside yes uh, right now it's spring and it's warm so uh, we have some early flowers in our city and I think that I need to go outside and draw something because I have so much cool flowers uh, around my home and I don't use this opportunity oh my god I don't know maybe I'm stupid maybe I'm lazy maybe both As you can see, I tried to keep my palette in three colors, pink, violet and green. But in the end, I decided to add some yellow for contrast and it works really great. So, if you want to see the finished piece, um, I advise you to watch this speed paint till the end.
So this is how my cutting board looks in the end. And I forget to mention that I covered all my boards with uh, some tape, um, paper tape, because I don't want them to get dirty. Of course, I don't try them to get dirty, but yeah, they need a little bit of protection. And guys, as I already mentioned in the beginning of this video, don't forget to wash your brushes with some soap. And of course, don't forget to clean your palette and uh, open window in your room because oils are really smelly, guys. So guys, it is the end of the video. I'm so tired, my back hurts because yeah, I wasn't sitting, I was standing all the way and yeah, it is a really long video and uh, I don't know how I, <laughs> how my computer can handle this, but yeah, I'm really happy how this looks and uh, yeah, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and push little gray notification bell for not to miss my newest videos and yeah bye <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs>